Hi, this is April. Welcome back to my channel. Do you ever find that some of your favorite TV shows and movies are not available on any streaming service? And you really don't feel like rummaging through your old DVD collection just to find those favorites? Today, I'm going to show you how to take this and put it on a Plex Media server so that you can watch all of your favorite TV shows and movies and also organize them into customized playlists so you can watch them anytime you want to on any of your favorite streaming devices as well as on the mobile app, on the phone, or on a tablet. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do, of course, is download the Plex Media Server. A quick Google search will take you right to their website and then you can choose to download it for Windows or Mac. Okay, so once you have successfully downloaded the Plex Media Server, you will find it right down in the system tray and you will see this little icon. So the first thing you'll need to do is add some content to your Plex Media Server. When you first install it, you'll get their generic home screen with some of the free content from them that you can watch. But you want to replace all of this with your own categories, like TV shows, movies from your own files on your computer. So under settings, if you go to manage and then libraries, see we have zero libraries. So I'm going to add a library show you this from scratch. So first thing I want to do is TV shows. So next we're going to browse to find our folder. So I actually have my files on an external hard drive. So I am going to go to F and as you can see I have Leave It to Beaver right here with all of the different seasons in their own folders. So we are going to add. This takes quite a while to update all of the metadata with the thumbnail pictures and the descriptions of the TV shows. So don't worry if it takes quite a while. And then as you can see now, we have a category called TV shows. And it's already getting a lot of the metadata, but this does take quite a while. I think it's taken over an hour or so before. Okay, so in order to get the DVDs scanned in and transformed into MP4 files to use in Plex, you can use this program called WinX DVD Ripper. There's free options, but I really like this because it goes pretty fast. You can get the standard version for $24.95. I got the Platinum for $39.95. I've been using it for quite a few years and I really enjoy it. It was just a way to transform all my DVDs into MP4 files so that I could stream them using Plex. So if you don't have a DVD drive on your computer, you can always attach an external one. They're about $18 on Amazon. All you have to do is load in your DVD and it will automatically pick MP4 video. That's usually the format you would wanna use for Plex and then it's going to ask you for your location. So for the location I'm using the external hard drive and I selected the TV shows folder and then it will give you a list of titles. So one thing to make sure of it will default to the main title on the DVD but if you are trying to scan in TV shows you want those to each have their own file so I would unselect this because this is all of the titles together in one huge file. So I would unselect this and I would select the individual episodes. And you can see they are each 25 minutes, 37 seconds long. I'm just gonna select that one. And then you hit run. So now it's scanning in the information to create your MP4 file. And depending on the speed of your computer, this could take a little while. It usually takes a, quite a few minutes depending on how many files you're doing at the same time and how large the file is. 
But this is a really fun little hobby. It's a fun project to be able to get all of your old and rare DVDs in one place so you can stream them on your Roku or, or possibly your Fire TV, whatever that you use. Okay, so in order for Plex to actually find your files, they have to be named correctly and the folder that contains the mp4 files has to also be named correctly and this is a mistake that I made and I had to read some guides to try to figure out the correct naming process. You want a folder called TV shows and then for example we have Leave it to Beaver. You want to name it accurately. You don't want any typos or it won't be able to find the correct metadata with the thumbnail picture of the TV show and the titles of the different episodes if you don't name it correctly. So under your main television show folder, you want subfolders for each season and you wanna have it say season space 01, 02, etc. So you wanna name each episode within the season folder. You want each video file to say the name of the show, so this is Leave it to Beaver, space, hyphen, space, small s, zero one, small e, zero one for episode one. You have to get the naming just the right way or it won't always find the right metadata to add to your Plex library, so it won't have the right photos and everything like that. Okay, so once you have your Plex server all set up, you can go onto your Roku TV or whatever other streaming device you have, and then you can add the uh, Plex channel to your list here. And then on the left-hand side, you can choose which categories you want to see here. For instance, I've added a uh, playlist, but you can go into movies, TV shows, and then here we have Leave it to Beaver, and then you can go into any season. And if you label these correctly in your files, you will see that they have the correct titles and the metadata will pull correctly. I had a lot of issues getting this correct to begin with, but once you get the hang of it, it's great. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please give me a like and consider subscribing for more news and reviews. Have a great day and God bless.